Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But, once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. Reader, turn to 
While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. It can they do. Sewers they had to. Hester sailed sleepily on the stairs. Kiera, step up to it, our women. And sleeping. No Hester's at all. Ex be Hester, Ferreth. Yeah, I. What wilt thou? Virtue guides me way. Hester's for Apo and Ech be the Ech. Ech will do. Ech in the Munkhouse has let us see the rest of you, our women. Ech will thou. Up Ned Ferreth, our women. Yari to Chapin. Hestes Asteria, brave they are, my men. And sweet them, yes. Frekers, intendeth no. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. Stepeth to hit, our way men. Claude, this is a mickle man. Hestes and on, bowmen. Each fall away, Hestes. Break over mid bay, Freckers. Pest the forward, Egre Talkers. Pest the open and better, our way men. Press the yaw on and all over mid bay, Freckers. Freckers, intended no. Pest is an old can to do.
Toon Punk already ready. We have a status debate, Toon Folk. Be off guard, to haste. Yeah, that's has no haste as an on, so guys. We kill Bayo Arles. Redirect, I won't tend to Hestus. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Boom to heal. Ich 
Den Munkers Standard Jahr. Saddled up, reader is he ready for Hestes? Me way is clear. Reader, await Ender Hester's. to done some work on my way. Well, where then? That shepherd's doge here and they seen Hester. That shall be or a shepherd's doge. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. Reader, a wet hand of Hestus. Yippa may be Hestus. Boon for the arm. Mark of Yana. Let us see that. Dress of your step. Reader is the Munkers. See that a move. Mark of Yana, my friend. Reader is the Munkers. Hestus with his team. Boon for the arm. The Munkers let us see that. Yes, the reader is set on ready. Yes, that's the best. First, that's coming. That's the best. Not the hard way, man. Up then, Mark and his shield are on. I'm on this. Reader is. Reader is. Reader the reader is. Watch with that they do. That way, chef. Boy, is the best. That's an odd boy. I'm on this. With that, that's the best. That's the hard way, man. Bail sleepily on the stairs. What of Hester's an odd boy. Asterias. The monkey shill and on. Soon, our death reader, each follow away Hester's. Quiet, sir, chef. Hester's cost step and two hit our way, man. Hester, I feel 
Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp, adding more numbers to their next attack on the castle. Let's read and stack her in. Boa is the boom. Saddled up and he ready. He dressed it, yeah, our way, man. Up and better, our way, man. The monk has a stand of that well every door. Readers, he ready for that? Well, may I? Is this an old book named Ferret? Are we? Mark of Yara, my friend. Boa is the boon. Yes, let's come at our way, men. Asterias, brave they are, way, men. Seen the moon. Let us see that. Reader, what we did do. It's in just a new. Hest 
Reinforced by their new arrivals, the French army was at full strength. Dover braced for a full-scale attack. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Oh, 
An odd boy. Soon as they had. But yeah, as they step it to him. Out of way, man.
Ready for Hestes. Aron Jeff Reed. Hestes come here sleepily. Dean the moon has a stand up yard. Hestes and all. I'll sweep. Mark of Yara, my friend. See, the game will do that now. Yeah, the main thing the moon has a show up there, Ben. Up, men. Let's agree to this. We are attacking our way short. Hestes cometh, our way, men. Every chance. Contend it. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikens' surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands. Thank you. 